it is never acceptable to have such attacks, arson and, uh, you know, uh, violent uh, physical attacks on an embassy. The attack uh, threats uh, uh, to workers uh, are totally unacceptable. I strongly condemn attacks on uh, the Indian embassy and the United States must strongly condemn such attacks. I would like to see uh, India becomes a, the strongest ally of the United States of America. India and the United States need to work strongly together to challenge uh, the aggression from China. The best way to do that is a strong India and a strong India-United States relationships. I think this is, uh, these are the two biggest democracies, world's oldest democracy and world's largest democracy. And it is about time that we work with deep trust, we work with deep friendship, and we help the people of each of the countries in economically, and we have a great collaboration culturally and, and also promoting education and healthcare, uh, medicine, innovations, uh, and in terms of space and defense technology. So I would like to see uh, India becomes a, the strongest ally of the United States of America. Look, no country is perfect. Look, no democracy is perfect. But India has made a lot of progress. And uh, there is a lot of misinformation about India. Uh, there are a lot of baseless attacks that happen about India. And, uh, uh, but uh, India is a country that has many different cultures, many different languages, many different religious people of all kinds of faith have lived harmoniously in India. We all have work to do. United States have work to do. United States need to work on racism. United States need to work on um, uh, equity, uh, economic equity, racial equity, uh, social equity. Uh, there is a lot that every one of us can do to become a perfect nation. None of us are a perfect nation, but, uh, uh, but I have a lot of respect for India and the tremendous accomplishment India has done. And India and the United States need to work strongly together to challenge uh, the aggression from China. We have seen a lot of aggressive behavior from China, uh, economic aggression, they have infringed on um, workers' rights. Uh, they have dumped uh, products into the United States market uh, by subsidizing businesses. Um, so we need to effectively strong stand against China's military aggression, China's economic aggression. And the best way to do that is a strong India and a strong India-United States relationships. It is never acceptable to have such attacks arson and, uh, you know, uh, violent uh, physical attacks on an embassy. Uh, you know, I believe in uh, freedom of speech. I believe every group person has a right to express their views, but attack on an institution, physical attack, uh, threats uh, uh, to workers uh, are totally unacceptable. Uh, we need to express our disagreements in a democratic and peaceful manner, and I strongly condemn attacks on uh, the Indian Embassy, and the United States must strongly condemn such attacks and provide the protection uh, these democratic institutions need.